hello guys welcome back to my channel i just want to show you how to log for a fund on your money point account okay so the first thing to do is to go to atm.moneypoint.com and then when you click on atm.moneypoint.com it's going to load out the page that is coming so here you are and then you select username if username is what you use to log in you click on username and then put the username and then it's going to ask for your password you put the password and then it's going to load to this screen so you are seeing all businesses underneath you are seeing cleanance limited table stack you can click on the arrow in front of it or the name or just anywhere on that name and then it's going to load you to the main dashboard so this is going to load usually and then it might display all of this secure account blah, blah 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 if you know how to do this stuff you can set it up now or do it later okay so now you are in where do we go what do we do so the first thing to do is you can see the name cleanos limited boldly reading table stack on top of it there are three dash lines you can click on that three dash lines it's going to load the menu bar and then you can see um overview performance account cards all transaction transfers withdrawals basically withdrawals that's what we log the fund for so you can click on withdrawals and then it's going to load up to a page now you have no withdrawals here that's what it's saying now usually this this account particular account currently does not have a pos that's why it's telling you that and then but in the past it had pos so let's scroll down to when it had pos i just want to scroll down to a date that i did a transaction that failed so here i'm going to filter you can see export and filter by the top side of the screen so i click on filter and then it's saying date range i specify the date range i select it now there are four options there if the transaction you are looking for is within the last seven days you can just select last seven days if it's within the last one month you can select the last 30 days if it's within the last three months you can select that and if it's way above that you can click on custom custom and then you select it it will ask you to you know set the date and all of that but the one i'm looking for is around the last three months so i just select the last three months and select it then there are still many other things you can you know um set here but for me what's important to me is just transaction status also to add to it i go to transaction status and select the transaction status field because transaction declined so it's failed i select it then i can scroll up a little and click on apply filter now it's going to load up several transactions that failed in the last three months so yours in your case you just select the date and then filter and then it will bring out the transaction that you did that failed and that time you select the exact one you want to log the fund for and then in this case let me just pick the one of 1900 naira let me select that one and then you can see on the new displayed screen it's showing you the amount the card number uh, and other details and then you can still scroll down blah 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 and all so but what's important for you to do here is on the screen you can see dispute so you can click on the dispute and then it's asking for it's telling you you are requesting refund so you put the account number that you used to log the dispute so for in this case let me just put this account number and then it's asking for which bank i see i click on view all banks and then i type uh, the account i use for that stuff is um, an op account so op atm card so i select it in this case you are going to select the customer's correct details with the bank that they use the atm card they use the correct details on that atm card then you confirm it then it's asking for the customer's phone number in this case i'm also going to put the customer's phone number and then uh okay i didn't put the first zero okay so it's not allowing me to submit so now i put it and then click on submit so here if the the person was truly debited for that transaction it will show you request refund successful but that transaction i was trying to look for refund for was the person wasn't actually debited so that's why it's showing you withdraw transaction not found meaning that the person was not debited so but 
yours is supposed to show successful and once it's successful you now tell the customer that the money will be reversed back to him or her within 48 working hours and then if it's not reversed after 48 working hours then the person should go to his or a bank to fill a dispense error form thank you that's all about request for refund